Hello lads, I am in the midst of working on a multi-volume uh, epistolary uh, uh, piece. Epistolary meaning, that's a fancy way of saying a letter. And that, in fact, the title of the piece is uh, A Letter to Today's Unwanted Men. <clears throat> now, this is all in my Substack uh, page, and I have so far written parts one through five. Um, I think there might be a couple more uh, to go, but I uh, just felt drawn to do to do this, c compelled uh, to to uh, to complete this letter, uh, in which I address men, young men today, facing the kind of situation that they're facing, uh, uh, a, a situation in which, as I've as I've said before, a point that I've made before and, and that others are, are making as well in their own way, that uh, if you're a low to mid status uh, young man today, you are basically invisible in a way that you were not invisible in years past. The, the equivalent of the, your equivalent uh, in decades past before the uh, the the, the demolition, uh, the heartless demolition of monogamy that came about through the the totally planned and controlled sexual revolution, which was engineered from on high. Um, before that happened, uh, men like these men. Uh, uh, did not have a difficult time, did not have such a difficult time uh, finding a wife. In fact, it it uh, was something that was relatively easy to do. Why was this the case back then? It was because, the, it was the case back then because uh, the, the cultural circumstances did not uh, promote uh, hyper hypergamy in women. I mean, there's a certain degree of hypergamy in women is, is fine, is natural. Women want to find, to be with a man who is above their station, somebody who will protect them, somebody who will, uh, uh, you know, uh, improve their lives. Uh, somebody that they know has good, good qualities, will, will, will display good qualities as a husband and a father, uh, and as a provider and so forth. But there was a time when that, when those expectations were kept in check. And, you know, if you were a woman of a certain station, you know, let's say a, a, in the, in the middle class, uh, of society, you, you, you could be okay with, uh, a man who was basically middle class as well. Um, and I write about this in, uh, uh, letter two, uh, in, uh, the, the series so far. I, I write about how it, it must have been in, in years past when, uh, you know, y there, there were still, uh, high status men who were out there making women swoon. And, uh, you know, you, you still had, uh, your, your Gary Coopers, uh, and your, uh, your Cary Grants, you know, and, uh, other, types of types of guys like that matinee idols you know radio crooners and stuff but your average uh you know middle american girl uh uh getting to be of marriageable age didn't honestly think she was going to land one of those guys and it, it just wasn't even uh in, in the in the books for her and uh you know it was it was a, a time when uh uh, a woman could be satisfied with more, more of uh, somebody who was just on her level, closer to her level. Again, not not at or, at or below her level usually, because she was wanting to 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 look for someone who was was good for her, somebody who who would improve her lot. But it wasn't. Uh, so unforgiving and harsh and 
you know, you didn't have millions of men just, just being ignored the way it's happening, the way it's happening now to, to young men, you know, with this drought uh, of this uh, sexlessness drought that, that they talk about, you know, some survey uh, in which they say up to 63% of, of, uh, of younger men are, are, are single and are, and are, uh, and, and like, that's, that's twice the number of, of women that same age who are single. So something is, uh, amiss. Something has gone terribly awry. A, uh, a YouTube, uh, personality that I've discovered recently is a young man, a kid really named Gerbert Johnson, uh, he has two video channels. One is Gerbert Johnson. The other is Gerbert's Void. And he's a funny guy, uh, but he, he really uh, spits truth as well. And uh, something that he said in his last video uh, was just just right on the money. And I wanted to uh, to highlight it here. And I'll, I'll also link to it below because you should, you should watch this guy. Um... <sighs> Uh, what he said was this, he said, think about your father when, when, you, when your father, like, like Gerbert is, is now around the age of 19 he, or he is 19, I believe he's a good looking guy. Uh, you know, he's, he's funny. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of qualities that you would think would endear him to the fairer sex, but, uh, he's, uh, he's struggling, uh, in that department. And makes no bones about it. Um, and he, he, he talks about the, uh, <clears throat> you know, instead of just doing what most 19 year olds do and just, you know, thinking about their own predicament, he's, he's a thoughtful young man. And he, 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 he's thinking about thinking in a wider sense about society and, and things that have, what's brought things to this point. Um, and what he, what he says in his latest video is think about your father, think about what he looked like when he was, uh, marriageable, you know, the, the kind of age that, uh, men were when they, when they, around the time when they married, say, you know, uh, you know, between the ages of 18 and 25, I know people tend to marry later today, but. But in his case, he was just, you know, saying, like, let me compare myself to my father. And, and you know, he, he said his father was just this, this, uh, uh, this little shrimp uh, uh, of a guy, uh, not very physically imposing, not very uh, impressive, uh, uh, but had no, no problem meeting a woman who fell in love with him. Uh, and uh, uh, and who who became his wife, and they've been married ever since. And now they're in their sixties. Uh, I guess they must have had him, you know, a bit a bit later. Uh, in uh, I don't know how many brothers and sisters he has, or, or I don't know his family situation. But but anyway, um, so and I, I thought I think of my my dad. You know, um, now my dad was you know, impressive, and uh, an impressive guy in a lot of ways when he was a young man. Um, he, he was class valedictorian. Um, you know, he was a very, very hard worker. He was also a, a, a really, uh, great athlete. Um, he was, uh, one of the top track and cross country, uh, runners in the state of Wisconsin. Um, both in high school and in college. Um, and he also wrestled, although I'm not sure what, what his, dis if he was, if he distinguished himself quite as much there. And I don't, I know he didn't enjoy it as much, but anyway, he, my, my dad's just a sort of natural athlete that, that those genes did not get passed on to me. But, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> he's a, he, he's the kind of guy when he was go like when he got in his thirties, picked up a tennis racket for the very first time, uh, at age 35 or so and became, you know, promptly became, uh, the, uh, 
the champion of like one of the best players in the state of Georgia uh, for his uh, his age bracket. You know, not not on a professional level, but 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 in this uh, still uh, volunteer league, he just very quickly ascended the ranks. He just he's just a natural uh, athlete. He's just he's just got it going on in that regard. But all that said, you know, you if you saw my dad when he was, uh, uh, you know, 21, 22, 23, 24 years of age, what well, you, you see him in, in the wedding picture with my mom, where, uh, I think, I think my dad is, uh, let's see, it's 1965. I think my dad is, is 24 and my mom's 23 in that picture. Um, and you know, he's, he's like, Buddy Holly glasses, skinny guy. He, he he was tall, but but skinny. You know, I, I, today I honestly think, and 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 my mom in, in those wedding pictures was was really gorgeous. I mean, and uh, uh, you know, I think just think today. You know, uh, sorry, mom, if you're watching this, which you, of course you aren't, but. But if you just happen to be watching this, I don't think you'd give my dad, I don't think you'd give dad the time of day if it were today. If you were in your 20, if you're early 20s and you met my dad and he had all the qualities that he had back then, but it was set today uh, and you were both Zoomers <laughs> instead of being, uh, well, they, my parents aren't, were born before the war, so they're like pre-boomer Um you know, they're both uh, in their early 80s now. But, uh, you know, just, no, my, my, I mean, like, I was, uh, oh, I, of course, I lucked out. That's I, I'm sort of the exception to the rule. Um, I, 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 uh, I married, uh, I, I met the girl that I was going to marry when I was 21, and I married her when, when we were 25. But, um, but... Uh, but in any case, uh, the point is I'm born, you know, I was, I was, I came to be of marriageable age even before all of the, the, uh, the crap went down before the internet, before, way before social media. Uh, and, uh, and now, you know, it's just about impossible. Like, like, you know, you you look at young men in the past and and you know the women that they married uh and uh it's not that it's not that i'm saying these guys are i'm not putting these guys down at all i'm saying things are just just so out of whack today they wouldn't stand a chance in today's world so it's not it's not that there's something wrong with men today it's that there's something wrong with society there's something wrong with the culture today. There's something wrong uh, with uh, how things have become, how things be have been allowed to develop, um, where, well, on the one hand, economically, you can't just, uh, uh, you know, be a man and be the breadwinner for a family uh, like you could in the 40s or 50s or 60s, you know. Um, so there's that, that's gone on, which has lowered men's overall value, uh, you know, in, in a societal sense and in, in the sense of, of how they're, how they're viewed by others, <clears throat> how they're viewed by, by, pers by wives or prospective wives. Um, so you have that going on at the same time that you've got this, uh, uh, this um, destructive sexual revolution that's undermined monogamy and made it so that the, the top tier men are able to accumulate harems uh, of women uh, and the uh, mid to low uh, status men just get ignored. So, you know, these are points that I've made before. Uh, but, but the whole, I think, I, I think what, what made me put it in perspective and, and the reason I'm talking about it now is Gerbert's video where he says, think of your father, 
you know. Uh, so Zoomer, Zoomer kids, Zoomer young men uh, with their, uh, in some cases, I guess, older, older Gen Xer or, or maybe baby boomer fathers, um, you know, they, they, they weren't, uh, it wasn't like they were more impressive at all, but it's just that society standards were not so out of whack and, uh, women weren't, weren't being encouraged to, to be so, so, uh, heartlessly hypergamous as they are now and uh now i don't know you it's not like you can help who you're attracted to and who you're not attracted to but uh and of course you don't want to just say to people well, lower your standards your standards are too high but we need to have we, we there needs to be a recalibration otherwise things are just things are only going to get worse and people are only, only going to be more miserable. And, um, uh, you know, you get what you fucking deserve. Uh, the, the, uh, the architects of this, uh, this disastrous, um, culture that we've got, you know, I, I, I wish them nothing but the very worst and, uh, I hope they get it soon. That's how I'll, st I'll sign this one off. But anyway, just think about your dad and, uh, you know, how your dad was able to, f to find a wife without a problem. And uh, that tells you something. <clears throat> your dad probably wasn't, as a young man, probably wasn't that different if from you, the way you are right now, if you're a young man right now. But uh, the, uh, the difference uh, between you and he, uh, as far as... Uh, um, as far as the fact that he was not ignored the way that you are ignored, if you're a young man today, uh, that that's what says says it all. I think. Um, so, please do check out my uh, my series, uh, which is ongoing, um, and I will put a link to it before I forget. I'll, I'll link to it uh, also on my YouTube channel. Um, a letter to today's unwanted men. Thank you for watching.